Okay, we're here at the Nuts Challenge looking at the Full Monty, one of the new obstacles here. So it is quite high. This side here is for the three and four lappers or the two lappers going for qualification. The shorter side over there is for the one and two lappers that aren't doing any qualification. Okay, so from a height perspective, the first bar is your hardest thing really once you get on here. You've got a nice corner spot here so you can get your arm on. You really just need to get your leg up to get on that first bar. Okay, from that point for me, rather than risking crashing your nuts and everything else as you're going over here by getting your leg over, you have to touch the ground on each one. But the easiest way for me, I think, to get over here, if you're in the middle, is jump up, get your bum on there, little push, hands over, and down again. If you're fortunate enough to get here and there's nobody on the edges, then same thing, a little jump, bum on the edge, throw your legs over, and straight down. One and two laps, this is gonna be fine. By the time you're getting onto three and four, though, with the risk of cramp and everything else, it's gonna be painful over here, so. All the time that you're trying to bring your legs up and get over that way, you're risking cramp all the way through. So you've got 10 of these to get over all the way down. So enjoy it. Okay, so if you're struggling with jumping up, you can throw your legs over like these two fine examples. <laughs> okay, so these are the rings at the nuts. They're quite short, quite close together. Um, they're going to be very wet and very slippy so you're probably used to doing these the normal way getting your hips going swinging along let your body do all the work but the likelihood of being able to do that at the weekend is probably pretty small there is another option you have well the four options actually that was the first one if if you manage to be tall enough and you've got a reasonable grip you can always skip one of the rings, so jumping forwards. In which case, you get one go across. Again, you're probably going to be slipping on that one. My personal favourite, if there's two rows that are empty, what you can do is go diagonally. You don't have the issue with your arms slipping around because you're going as quickly as you can, keeping your biceps sort of tucked in a little bit and just going for it. And that generally always works on here, so that's a better option. Worst case, if all else fails, you end up hanging. It is possible. Just work your way across slowly, grabbing on. Two hands, one ring, just don't let go. And you'll still make it. That's it, just reach and grab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep your knees going. That's it. Keep your knees going. Keep your knees going. All the way. All the way. Keep lifting those knees. Lifting your knees. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Nearly there. Nearly there. One more. One more. Brilliant. Okay, so the overhang wall, same as most, we, we've got a little bit of a, an adaptation to make to the bottom of here to make it a little bit safer at the moment. Um, but same thing, you just out the field with the trenches, straight over here. So usual process, hands on, heel hook, elbow over, and over you go. That's it. There you go. There you go. And then left, left arm in. Left arm in. That's it. You're there now. Yeah.